Hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Well, today I'm going to do something that I, you know, that I don't do enough of in my opinion. I know a lot of you prefer the chicken content, the poultry content, all that stuff, but I'm still a prepper and this is still a prepping channel. So when I have the opportunity, uh, a lot of times I'll buy a little bit when I'm out shopping or whatever, and I just go ahead and just get it put up. But I went shopping a few days ago and I did some online ordering stuff because some of the things I, I stockpile and purchase, I, you know, I order online just to save money and I don't have to go to the store and get it. But one of the things I actually went to the store and then I go, I probably go to, you know, China Mart three or four times a year. Um, I, I try not to go often, I don't like going in there, but one of the things that I haven't been able to beat their price on anywhere is sugar. And I buy it by the 25 pound bag and typically I'll put some sugar up when I buy a bag, I'll put, you know, I'll fill my canisters in the kitchen and a few other little containers and then whatever is left in the bag or however much I bought, I'll put that in my lard bags and get it put up in the stockpile, in the storage. So I also do you know, y'all know I'm a southern southern guy in southwest Georgia, so I drink Louisiana sweet tea. That is my thing. A lot of people drink beer and Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper and whatever, and that's fine. That's up to y'all. But my choice is Louisiana sweet tea, and I buy it by the case off of Amazon because it is so much cheaper than what the stores are charging for. So on this round, I bought two 25-pound bags of sugar. Now, it pretty much took one to refill all the canisters in the house and the extra containers that I keep of it just so I don't have to go so often. And I also went ahead and bought a couple of these, you know, Walmart brand vegetable oil because if the grain harvest is as bad as they're saying it's going to be, we may not, or the price may go way up. It has already gone up from what I was paying for it last year quite a bit. But that oil will get put in the storage, and then I usually bring the oldest one that I've got inside and use that, and I just rotate through that way. So that's not all I have, but I try to buy one or two when I get an opportunity. And that's what I encourage anybody to do. But Louisiana tea, I buy it by the case off of Amazon in Walmart or Food Line or any of the big stores, you're gonna pay seven or eight bucks, if not a little more, for a 48 count family size bag of uh, Louisiana. Well, I can get it for much less than that, around $4 off of Amazon buying it by the case. So that's the way I typically buy it. Comes six to the case, I'll put three or four on the shelf in the kitchen, depending on what I have in here, and then I'll I'll package up two or three of them in vacuum sealed bags and add that to my storage as well. So that's the majority of what the sugar I store is for, that and baking, but most of it is to make Kool-Aid for the kids, sweet tea, things like that. So I'm going to pause this here and then I'm going to come back and show you after I'm done packaging all of this up and show you what I've got. All right, guys, it doesn't take long once you've got your stuff set up. I guess I spent 10, 15 minutes maybe. So I've still got the two gallons of vegetable oil or cooking oil, whatever kind you normally use. That's what I suggest you buy. So <coughs> I got the 25 pound bag of sugar finished off. Each one of these gallon Mylar bags holds about eight pounds. It's, it's pretty much all I've been able to get in there. You can get just a little over, but or a little under. I mean, it's going to be hard to get any more than that. Sugar does not need oxygen absorbers. Sugar does not go bad. So you just try to get all the air out of the package that you can when you seed it up. And that's what I've done here. And then I took the 48 count box and divided it into 24. So I've got four 24 count packages of Louisiana family size tea bags. Now, it's not a lot, but guys, prepping is a journey, not 
uh, one week race. So add a little bit to your preps every time you get the opportunity. I've got a few other things on the counter, but I'm just not gonna show that. I've got a whole lot of corn seed that was given to me. I've got some onions that I wanna get put up over there and some other things that I put, already put on the shelf for storage. Now, add a little bit every time you go. To me, I want to be as comfortable as possible when, when crap hits the fan. I like Louisiana tea. Most of my family loves Louisiana tea. And that's what I plan on having. I've got a lot of tea put up. No telling how much, to be honest. It's, it's a lot. I've also got probably in the seven, 800 pound range of sugar put up. Now, you can raise cane and, you know, clean it, wash it down, grind it up, all that stuff, make your own sweeteners or squeeze it to get the syrup out of it, whatever. There are other ways you can get sweeteners, honey especially, but honey doesn't mix well with a cold drink. So I like ice sweet tea. So I try to put up sugar and that, and I've got hundreds of packets of different flavors of Kool-Aid so that that can be mixed for the kids and, and, and adults that like it, lemonade, things like that. And it's just ideas. Do a little bit at a time. Now, I do buy my Louisiana tea, like I told you, in, in, by the case. It normally comes six boxes to the case. And sometimes I put up three of those, and sometimes I put up one or two. This today happened to be two boxes. So that's 48 gallons of tea. I use two per jug. So that's 48 gallons of tea right there. Plus I need the sugar to go with it. I don't like unsweet tea. So that's why I put up sugar. Also, here in the South, we do a lot of frying for food. And I try to store some cooking oils. That's what we use. Now, is it to help this for you? No, but I'll tell you what. If you're working hard outside, planting gardens, raising animals, all that stuff, you're burning calories. You need to replace those calories. Whatever it is that you normally eat and drink, that's what you need to be putting up for your preps. Don't put up things that you're never going to eat. You know, I bought a case of canned ham probably six months to a year ago. It's got several years shelf life on it. But I tried one of the cans. I'd never bought it before. I bought a case of it, and I just don't care for it. It's not what I wanted. So it's sitting in storage. Now, the, the, the canned roast beef, I absolutely love that. So when I go shopping, I try to pick up a can or two of that extra and put that in storage. But just be mindful of your dates. Make sure you're rotating your product through. You don't want to spend any money. I don't care if it's $5 or $5,000 on preps that you're not going to use and that's going to sit there and go bad on you before you get a chance to use it. So prep what you use. Don't worry about all the other stuff. When you get you and your family covered, then you can worry about, okay, I want to store some of this for, for bartering or whatever. That's perfectly fine. But get you and your mag taken care of first. So it's just a couple of things, three things that I added on this trip and then a few others I already had ready for me to put up. And guys, I wanna talk about one more thing, water. Water is almost free right now. If you wash out the containers you have and use them, wash them, put clean water in there, treat it if you need to treat it, and put it up storage. You can do it for virtually free, just a little bit of time, and you can only go three days without water. It's very important that if you've got food, you need water. And for example, you can't make tea without the sugar, sweet tea, without the sugar and without the water. But you need the water intake. Your body has to have it to function. So you drink it now one way or the other, store it that way. Or plain water. You need it for cooking and all of those things. And you can do it for free now. I know times are hard. Bidenomics is killing all of us. But there's a lot of things you can do if you put your mind to it that won't cost you any more. You'll never notice it in your normal spending or budget. To toilet paper is one of those things. I know there's people out there that still got a barn full of it 
from the 2020 scare. But those of you that don't, when you buy your toilet paper, put up one or two rolls. If you've got a vacuum sealer, vacuum seal it. It'll last forever. It's not going to go bad. As long as you keep pests away from it, which you should with all your food and preps, it'll last you forever. You're not going to lose any money. If you buy a 24-pack, put up two or four of those. You're never going to notice that you used them a little bit sooner and buy the next one. So just some ideas, guys. I hope you're prepping. I hope you're using what you prep and replacing that with newer products so it's not costing you money in the long run. Thank y'all for watching my videos. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It really, really means a lot to me. Remember what I always tell you, Jesus Christ loves you, and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.